Today, we're going to be learning about the artist Jen Stark, and we're going to do a drip art lesson in her style. Here are some done by students. Jen Stark is a painter, sculptor, and animator living in Miami, Florida. Here is Jen Stark sitting in front of one of her beautiful masterpieces. They're all very colorful and there's lots of contrast. She tries to find how certain colors will make you feel and which colors look great next to each other. Artists are always trying to express an emotion through color, shape, line, repetition, and that's what artist Jen Stark is trying to do in her beautiful, colorful masterpieces. Some of this art is actually paper sculpture, where she cut paper slightly smaller than the time before and placed them on top of each other and next to each other to create this optical illusion. Today you are going to be doing an art project in the style of artist Jen Stark. Very bright, colorful, high contrast art. She's well known for her drip painting where it looks like the paint is dripping down a wall. We're going to create that effect today. We're going to be using contrast by using bright colors next to black and white. Placing two very different things beside each other creates contrast. In the art room, we're going to be using different thicknesses of a black marker. Begin with a thick black marker and draw a drip, a paint drip, that hangs down from above and it's very curvy, a very organic line. And do this all the way across your paper. Put another drippy line below it and be sure to pick up the marker and let it hide behind the first drip. We'll do this several times across our page. Draw very slowly and carefully but you can do this in black marker instead of drawing in pencil first. Be sure to do some overlapping like this. And leave some white paper at the bottom. Now change Sharpie. Let's get a thinner one this time and draw a line that follows along your first black line. This one's just above it, leaving a small space in between that we can color in later. Put another line above that one. Wherever you have room, squeeze in another line that will fit above. Continue filling up your page with lines that are curvy, following along the thick one that you started with. Remember to always overlap by picking up your marker and continuing on the other side of the previous drip. The white paper at the bottom can stay white. Let's take another look at the work of Jen Stark. Notice her black and white contrasts the color area. So we're going to do that too. Every other space will make black and white. Let's make the very top one black and white. And then the next one will have color. The third one black and white. And the fourth one color. Use the black marker to color between two lines. Fill it in neatly and go all the way across the paper, staying in that same band. Then leave a white space and repeat coloring the black between the next two lines. Your black will disappear behind a drip and come out the other side. When the black and white sections are done, switch to colors. You can use oil pastels, crayon, marker, or paint. Whatever you use, let's make it very bright, very vivid, very colorful. If you're using crayons, you're going to need to press firmly to get a bright, vibrant color. These are oil pastels. Whatever color you do at the bottom, you might want to repeat that again when you do the following drip. So this is pink 
and there's pink also. Here's orange, and there's orange also. Yellow and yellow, green and green. The colors are repeating, very similar to a rainbow. Go back and look at your work when you're finished and see if there's any areas that need fixing. Right here looks like that would look a lot neater if that were parallel. Let's see if there's any other spots that can be fixed up. Right here at the top, we could squeeze in one more black section. This one could still be a little bit neater. This project can also be done using ArtRage on the iPad. These examples were done using ArtRage. The colors are super vivid this way, and filling in is much easier. Begin by drawing the lines with varied sizes of black. Then you're going to fill in each band with a color. But you've got to be careful there's no spaces in the black line. See that little space there? That prevented the color from staying inside the band. So that needs to be fixed up. And then you can just continue filling all your spaces in with color and black and white the same way you did on paper. You have two weeks to complete this project and I did not make the video a part one and part two because I wanted you to see the option of using ArtRage. If you happen to have ArtRage on your iPad or your computer, you could go ahead and use that. But stop about here where you're done with the black and white drips and then come back next week and color in the colorful drips. That should keep you on target for finishing this in two weeks.